<clears throat> I was uh, watching the interview that uh, Shay Chardet did with uh, Obsidian and <sighs> Obsidian's behavior, his response uh, was just atrocious. And, you know, I know of, of, of Obsidian, you know, I never followed his material. Um, the first time I heard about Obsidian, and I know he knows about me, but I'm saying first time I heard about Obsidian was with all the drama between, uh, I think it was Karazin and Chrissy and, you know, uh, him trying to dox people, which you already know, I don't play with the whole dox thing. You know what I mean? I mean, these are conversations that people are on, you know, having online. I don't think that it's necessary for people to go out of their way to try to dox people and use government names and, uh, you know, just all that, all that bullshit. Like, it's like, if it, why don't you just stand on your square and make the talking points? Like, I don't understand that if, if you're if you got such a strong argument, male or female, then you should be able to stand on your square 10 toes down and lay out your argument. And, you know, obviously the, the, the people would decide, you know, whose argument was more valid than the other. I mean, I mean, you know, but I, I guess I have the old mentality of, you know, pre YouTube monetization because that's what it that's what it was about. The, I mean, you know, that first wave of, you know, folks, you know, both black men and women who were having a conversation, you know, who were trying to get to the bottom of some shit. Uh, I believe that the vast majority of those people, men and women did have a genuine concern about, uh, the black community now. And I, and I'm, and it's been this way for a while. And I've called it out over the years, several times, you know, since the monetization, you have all these grifters out here. And people who don't even have an original thought and all they do is they either ride the coattails of other people or they, um, uh, you know, just, you know, grab these sort of canned responses, let other people do the do the thinking, repackage it, you know, and then put it in a condensed form because most people are intellectually lazy. Right. They're not going to, you know, listen to a you know, an hour long video or a 40 minute video. They're not. You know, what I mean, me, I like to walk through it because I'm thinking about what I'm saying as I'm walking through it. You know, I'm sitting there. I'm like, this person said this. This person said that. I let it swirl around in my head. And then I make a video and I'm and I respond to it. I'm not doing, you know, a whole production over here. I'm not like, oh, let me, you know, oh, let me let me put this out there. And, you know, and in and, and coming up with all these silly thumbnails and you know, make it look like I just saw a ghost or some shit like that, which, you know, everybody else feeds into and clicks, you know, it's, it's kind of similar to the way that men will complain about women, you know, commodifying themselves on OnlyFans and IG and, you know, selling their bodies and how that screws up the sexual market. But yet you're still over there subscribing and liking and, 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 you know, hearting their shit. Right. And and so people will sit there and they complain about, you know, the grift. They complain about, uh, you know, people making money, you know, doing this shit. But yet you're over there clicking on their videos. You're not over on the people who are trying to have the intellectual conversations. You know what I mean? You're not you're, you're over there on Joe Rogan's show. You're not over there following Christopher Hitchens or following uh you know who's another like like long-winded you know intellectual but you get the point you know because it's boring to you you want the shock value you want the cathartic release that's what you want you know it's like what people complain about with video games right now you know that the triple a games suck because everything is oh we'll give you a free game and then we hit you with a million microtransactions well, there wouldn't be microtransactions in games if people would stop buying them. But they put the microtransactions in games and get this custom gear and, you know, get make your character look cool. And then people go out there and they buy it. And then EA and, you know, all these Activision make, you know, millions of dollars for their shareholders. You know, if you really got a problem with microtransactions in the game, stop buying them. Right. 
And the same thing goes for, you know, the YouTube and the grifters and the manosphere. Withdraw your support. Don't support them. Stop supporting them. You know, I, I don't, you know, people have asked me over the years, why don't I do collabos with other people? Because they're monetized and I'm not. And I know that always brings, you know, a fucked up element into the room because they're they're trying to make money. Their whole thing is, you know, get them likes up, get them likes up like Kevin. OK, they're not here because they genuinely care. They found an angle. They found a topic and they're and they're rolling with it. You know what I mean? I don't think that Kevin completely didn't care about the community, but his primary purpose was to make money. When he came online, he went from he was doing cologne and men's luxury items and shit. And then he switched over to the gender war stuff. You know, because the gender war is going to be important to people because 50 percent of people's existence is to find a partner and reproduce and procreate. So that's always going to be a hot topic. Men, women, dating, relationships, it's always going to be a hot topic. You know, but, you know, our shit is black people. Our shit is fucked up. You know, and, you know, as many people have said, you know, clearly there's a number of people that, you know, label themselves in the black manosphere that they don't have any integrity. I can't stand a lot of the shit that black women do. I mean, I really cannot stand, you know, the shit that they do. And I make videos talking about that shit, countering a lot of the, you know, the the all black men bad, all black women perfect narrative that they like to go out here and push. Right. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to go out here and, and, and form Voltron, you know, with some white woman or any other white person. You know, to to not only capitalize on black conversations, but to then, you know, shit on the other 50 percent of the community. This is why there's a lot of black women, quiet as is kept, that don't fuck with Karazin because she was constantly always trying to do that. And then she would get embarrassed and then she would start crying like the whole shit that went down with the veganator. Or the whole shit that went down with the 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 the, the situation at the Loving's Day. Or the situation at the coffee shop where she tried to like somehow put that on a black men. It's it's because white men mistreat me because of the way that black men talk about black women online. They're destroying our chances of interracial relationships. You know, like again, some people are just nuts, yo. They're nuts. Like they don't know where the edge is. And I mean I mean, all the splaining I'm hearing Obsidian do, you know, on, on the, on, you know, Shay Charday. I mean, people are asking him direct questions and then he wants to play dumb. Well, I don't know. And I don't know about that. And I don't know about, you know, like <sighs> trash, yo, it's trash. Like, like my whole thing is withdraw your support. You don't see, so, you know, again, you know, the algorithms determine you know, or, or not the algorithms, but, you know, how many people subscribe, how many people like, if you don't like what people, you know, how many people over the years I've subscribed to, I'm listening, I'm listening, they, you know, they'll say some shit. And I'm like, I didn't like that. Didn't agree with that. Just because I don't agree with one thing doesn't mean I'm going to unsubscribe to you. But if you do that shit consistently, if I start picking up on like racist vibes, if I start picking up on like example, like undead chronic. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, there's there. Anytime you're talking about relationships, there's going to be areas of overlap between all groups because relationships and, 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 and this whole concept of, you know, especially traditional relationships, it's all the same across the board. So, so, you know, any person that of a different group that says the same thing, like there's, there's certain shit that all men are going to agree on. And there's certain shit that all women are going to agree on because they're men and they're women. You know, regardless of, of, of race, you know, that people want to throw up there. You know what I mean, but at the end of the day, you still got to factor in the other things like the fact that, yes, you know, men, all men have the same, essentially the same problems in Western society. But we got to deal with contend with the system of white supremacy. That's still a thing. You know, I'm, I was watching a video of Barbarossa and Barbarossa, I think he was like a mixed Latino or something like that. He wasn't white. But like Barbarossa asked, you know, he's and this was the whole issue that I had with the Manosphere in the very beginning. I mean, Thug Titian and I got into it because of that, 
because I remember when Paul Elam was going to do a video about uh, black black men and the gender war or something like that. And at the last minute, he decided not to do the video. And I know why he decided not to do video. Paul Elam was a white man. He's one of the original Manosphere, uh, you know, talking heads, old guy. OK, and he pulled it because, again, the problems that we have as black men are directly tied to the system of white supremacy. If, especially if we're talking about traditionalism and men providing and all that other stuff, whether you believe in it or not. You know, and, and white men's uh, uh, relationships that they have, you know, and the positive relationships that they've had disproportionately to the black community is directly tied to their oppression of the black community or black men and the extraction of labor and resources that they then take back to their women and say, hey, here's some blood diamonds. Now, will you get with me? Right. So 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 their access to white vagina has largely been predicated on the, you know, the oppression and exploitation of other groups of people. Because out here, it's patriarchy versus patriarchy. That's what it is. And that's why, you know, even though we have the same issues as white men, that whole, you know, come together and, you know, form Voltron totally, that shit will never happen. And this is one of the things that we tried to explain to Thug Titian. But Thug Titian, you know, just like, and this is, this is another issue. This is what, this is why African Americans don't fuck with the non-ADOS black people. Because y'all motherfuckers coon out. Y'all over there, like 1% of the UK, like less than 1% of Europe. And because you didn't, you, you like, you're not faced with white supremacy the way that we're faced with white supremacy. White supremacy has a long history in America, a long history in America. And, and, and it's a different, it's a totally, di it's, it's more savage OK, the way that white Americans tried to justify their racial superior and justify keeping slaves even after the British were like, we're not doing this anymore. OK, that shit went after slavery ended. You had Jim Crow for another 100 years. You know, there was no, you know, oh, let's bring together all of the British Empire and all those people who were loyal to the British Empire and, you know, at least on paper, or on the surface, make it look like shit was fair and equitable and, you know, that they didn't care about race. America had Jim Crow. You know what I mean? So we're very familiar with the microaggressions and the shuttle shit that white people do. And then, and then again, white people come through like Pearl did, pat y'all on the head. This, this is where y'all get to do that coon shit again. Pat y'all on the head. Oh, y'all some good Negroes, Candace Owens. You know what I'm saying? O'Shea to Duke Jackson. You know what I mean? All these non-ADOS people, they always, they always ultimately fail uh, the, you know, the black collective, the black diaspora. They always want to disassociate themselves from African Americans, act like they're better. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the brothers from the UK that Captain Solo corresponds with, I'm not going to say who he is, but he knows who he is because I know he's listening to this video. After uh, 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 Jason Black did that little uh, 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 across the pond uh, discussion that they had about, you know, a black empowerment and black movement and everything else like that and what black people need to do as a collective, the, the, you know, those UK black people, as soon as that shit was over, the UK black people were like, oh, we ain't got those problems. UK black people immediately disassociated themselves. You know what I mean? And we see this with the first off, most of them are, are African first generation. And then we already know how the Africans are. Do not did the Akata. Right? We know how to, we know how they get down. Right? The superiority complex that they have, which we can't even understand because it's like our shit is fucked up because we still exist and operate underneath the system of white supremacy in America. Y'all motherfuckers got your own land and your own government, right? And your own police force. You don't have white people beating you up and harassing you and shit every day in your own country. You got your own African leaders exploiting you who are in the pockets of freaking Europeans with neocolonialism. Y'all running around acting like you better than African Americans and you're getting fucked up in the same way, but through a distance. Like, like when you look at, uh, you know, shit that, that goes on, like, like the Biafri war, 
in Nigeria, just like they did, just like the British did Pakistan and India. Okay, we're leaving now. And then they make sure that a fight ensues, right? Or how uh, a number of black leaders were assassinated in conjunction with, with, with the CIA and, and European powers. Black people who were trying who were trying to uh, 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 basically, you know, control the resources and disseminate that wealth to the people, or create a more fair and equitable society for black people. But instead, I, I mean, I see Nigerians. They love to brag about, oh, Nigerians, oh, we're doing so well, and this, that, and the third. No, you're not. You got over 50% of the population that lives in abject poverty. And then you get mad at why, you know, other people around the world, how they view a uh, freaking Africa as a whole. The richest country in Africa as a continent is Nigeria. And 50 percent of the population lives in abject poverty, like not even having any shoes type of poverty. And Nigeria is running around, you know, in America, in the UK on some arrogant shit like anybody respects what the fuck they do. As Chika Onyanyani pointed uh, out in his book, you know what I mean? We don't even know how to find the oil, uh, 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 extract the oil, right? Take it to market, right? The the, the oil goes to freaking Europe, you know what I mean? And and then then they determine what the price of the oil is. And so the uh, Nigerians only get like a small fraction of the shit. Although I think that that recently changed. You know what I mean? But that shit was a long time coming. Like, but he was calling it out in that book, Capitalist Nigga, which I put in my uh, 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 description box. If you scroll down in the, on, on, uh, not the description box, in the, on the, on the community tab. You know what I mean? Like, but African, African, Africans love to, you know, again, more of that tribalism. I'm from the Yoruba tribe. I'm from the Igbo tribe. I'm from this tribe in Ghana. I'm from, you know, they, they stay with that bullshit. And, and when people look at Africa, they're like, it's fucked up. Africans running around, you know, uh, talking about how, uh, uh, you know, oh, look at our cities. The British built those cities. The Europeans built those cities. They built those cities so that they can extract resources out of the continent faster. You didn't build that shit. You know what I'm saying? When you look at how the, how the, how the cities are even built, like it's literally, you know, to get from point from 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 mining location to the ports and that's it there's no other roads that go anywhere else and these niggas is sitting around you know bragging and then when they get in the west and 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 when we're dealing with white supremacy and calling out the shit then they want to act like they're the special negro and this shit with pearl is no different it's no different. We expect y'all niggas to be coons. We expect that shit. That's why you got black people running around talking about, you know, foundational black Americans, ADOS. Then you get to America. You try to undermine our shit, the shit that America owes us. We don't even have to go back to slavery. We can just talk about fucking, you know, Jim Crow, redlining, blockbusting, eminent domain, urban renewal, Cointel Pro, convict leasing, debt peonage, uh, racial housing covenants, FHA loan denials, mass incarceration, CIA dumping drugs in the black community. Oh, we got a whole bunch to get reparations for. And y'all niggas will get off a boat tomorrow and talk about, well, I'm black and I feel like it's victim mentality. Like, I don't know how many times I heard that on the Shea Chardet show. Like, at the end of the day, like, real talk, like, we don't fuck with you niggas, man. We don't fuck with you. Y'all, y'all got, y'all got, y'all, y'all got uh, a Stockholm syndrome and shit when it comes to white folks. Don't talk about her. Don't talk about Pearl. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and again, the, the whole, the whole, you know, monetization, whatever she's paying y'all to say this shit. Y'all, y'all, y'all are, y'all are, y'all are owned, owned. Can't even stand up for yourself. It's sad, man, but it, it is what it is. And truth be told, there's a lot of African American olders that are that ain't much different. They get on that same bullshit too, like the old dude that called in and and, and whatnot. I don't want to entirely slam him, but I'm like, dude, we need to sit down and have a conversation. You know, black people have victim. And, black people are the victims because they're the a goddamn enemy. What don't you get about that? That is how white people view us. We are their enemy. We have to be kept down. 
know what I'm saying? Things that are inferior, as Dr. Hendrick Clark said, they don't need further, uh, you know, further assistance, you know, to, 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 to put them down. Right. If they're, if we're just inferior, then you wouldn't need to create Jim Crow laws and laws to keep black people out of certain institutions and deny them access to things even when they qualify. You wouldn't need to do that. If they're just inferior like that, things that are inferior just tend to fall to the bottom. But yet white people actively go out of their way to make sure that black people stay right where they are and we got niggas running around talking about is victim mentality. But they don't want to talk about what supremacist mentality is. You see this shit right now with with the with the what, what's her name Angel Reese shit with the basketball game. White girl Clark went up there with the you know you know uh, uh, you can't see my face shit, and then she did the same thing, and 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 now uh, uh, the the freaking Biden wants to invite both teams to the White House. You don't invite the losing team to the fucking White House, but because they're darling. Their precious white girls didn't win and they lost to a to a team that has way more uh, black women on it. You know what I mean? Now. Now. Oh, oh, you, you don't hurt a white girl's feelings. We can't have that. You know, now we want to talk about participations awards. Let's bring them together. And all this shit that's being said about, you know, you know, Angel and. You know, you know, her 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 response to what was initiated by, you know, the white girl. It's always that way. Whenever black people react and respond to white people's shit, white people's racism, all they're going to see is our reaction and then act like that's where it started. That's all they see. You know, so again. Black people are. African-Americans specifically are very familiar with this type of dynamic. But all, all these other, you know, ADOS or non-ADOS people, like, like we just, uh, again, people talking about, you know, I didn't have expectations for Pearl. I didn't have expectations for Pearl, but I didn't have any expectations from UK black people because UK black people always fuck it up. They always on some coon shit. The other thing I don't appreciate is even with the African American women that are bitching about, you know, the the the, the grifters in the manosphere that 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 are co-signing this shit. I'm gonna give women a little bit of credit. I'm gonna give the women a little bit more credit than the dudes because I don't see any videos of women trying to cape for pearly things other than like Jessica X. I don't know what the fuck she was doing, but again, another biracial. But when it comes to uh uh, uh, all the black women in the UK, like you tell me what the fuck they were on. And it's the same thing I said about Kevin Samuel's show where black women be like, and Kevin Samuel's, all he does is bash black women. Why the fuck were y'all going up there? If you felt that all you were getting was bash, you know, see, 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 while men are looking for monetary gain, women are looking for attention gain. And that's where you, that's where, you know, black women as a whole, both here and abroad, that's where they fuck up. Y'all just want to be in the spotlight just to be in the spotlight. You don't care how negative it is. And then you turn around and your reputation is negative. Then you want to cry about it. Why are you going up there? Why are you sitting there on pearly things talking about black issues? Not even just black issues, African-American issues. Because just like the brother checked uh, 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 Obsidian about the shit, like that wants to sit there and play dumb, like he doesn't know that they're talking specifically about African-Americans or that's what the shit was springboarded off of and what they're ultimately talking about and using British black people in order to, to have these talking points who don't even identify with the African-American experience and will quickly disassociate from it the first chance they get. Again, like the brother asked, why were they using African-American terms then like Ray Ray and Pookie and Tyrone's? Y'all don't even use those terms. Y'all use the term freeloader. You know, see, see, the fact of the matter is, and this is a this is a lesson learned when it comes to African Americans. You gotta treat these non foundational Black Americans, these non ADOS Black people. You gotta treat them just like you treat these 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 white folks. 
They're suspect. They're suspect. They're not your friend. They're not your ally. They're suspect. I don't know how many times they got to go out here and continue to 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 fail black identity, if you want to call it that, before we wake up and stop fucking with them. You know, what I mean, I ain't never trusted them, you know, as as a whole, as far as I can fucking throw them. You know what I'm saying? Surprisingly, you know, Shay Charday is, and I know she's not ADOS, but she's like the only one I, I fuck with. Everybody else, I know at the end of the day that eventually that we're better bullshit is going to come out. Even though they'll use, you know, our issues as, 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 as you know, you know, par for the course and the topic that they want to, that they want to discuss. Because as one Af one African was honest enough to tell me years ago when I first came online and laid it out and said that African-Americans are the blueprint for the black experience around the world. At the end of the day, even though we try to disassociate ourselves from you, even though we try we will shit on you and your problems and say, well, we don't have those problems. We, we, we look up to you. We want to be like you. We imitate you. Y'all ain't imitating us. Unless you a hotep, but we imitate y'all all day. We imitate your style of clothes. We imitate, you know, the way that you talk. You know what I'm saying? We damn near worship y'all. That's why th shit keeps coming back, you know, to, to us. Even when we're not even in the room. You know, but all that white apologetic bullshit, all that white apologist shit, all that making white people feel comfortable... Even when they even when they do something blatantly disrespectful. Let pearly things have gone up there and said something about, you know, the 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 the, the J people and their experience in Germany and how it wasn't that bad and it was an exaggeration or an embellishment. You know what I mean? Her whole channel would have disappeared. But she can say that about us and, and we got Negroes running around with no smoke. No smoke. A apologizing like a motherfucker. Now, what I'm happy about is the majority, the overwhelming majority of African-American men don't support what went down. And this is why even many of us, you know what I mean? Because I was subscribed to Pearly Things because it was like, just like with like Fresh and Fit, every once in a while, because of these areas of overlap, they can condense a thought down and really expose some shit, and especially with women in real time, because that's the only way that you can essentially, you know, showcase that this is how women think, because women will just sit there and generally uh, 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 deny it. No, we don't. It's not like that. No, we don't. No, no. Okay, here, here's a clip. That's why, that's why freaking Kevin Samuel's whole channel is a treasure trove of information. It's like, oh, 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 you're not on this shit? Okay, here's a video, and here's a woman that's on this shit. Yeah, I want a high value, man. I got three kids and I don't want to have to pay substantial bills. Oh, we got you on record, bitch, saying that shit. Oh, we're going we gonna to use that clip till the end of time. Because we knew that we weren't out of our minds when we were trying to call this shit out. And, and women were just, oh, you're black woman bashing. We knew we weren't out of our minds. You're like, yo, these bitches are out of their minds with the shit that they want. We can't even get what we want. Like the woman, I just saw a clip of Kevin and the woman up there talking about, uh, uh, you know, he was like, she was like what her weight was. And she was like, I, something about losing 60 pounds. And she, he was like, okay, well, what would happen if you divorced your husband? She was like, oh, I would have to lose the 60 pounds. He's like, wait a minute. So let me, so you're going to lose the, the, the 60 pounds. She was like, yeah, cause I got to get back on the market. But we, we, but now that you you're married and you got a man, you're not going to lose the 60 pounds for your husband. So, so it's, so, so which shows how little respect you have for your husband. So you're not going to look good for your husband, even though he's providing for you and, and got this lifestyle for you. But the minute that you break up with him, you got to go back on the market. So now you want to be the finest bitch that you want to be shit like that. So, you know, like, you know, it, 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 you know, every once in a while, these people, will will have a clip or a snippet, you know, because I mean they're just flooding the internet with their little short clips and paying people to, you know, the 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 Andrew Tate model 
to snip clip and everything else. And then they get money and, oh, you know, this is how you become an entrepreneur and, you know, take my videos and snip them and put them all over the place. Right. And they are getting money because they're getting subs for the little mini clips. And then Tate or Pearly Things or Kevin Samuels are getting money from from people being drawn to their page because their face is everywhere in the algorithms. That's how the shit works. You know, so, um, uh, you know, you know, that type of exposure cannot be ignored. You know, I mean, those people are going to become a reference point because it's just like movies. It's like, why do people always use movies as examples or use celebrities as examples? Because everybody's familiar with them, even though technically speaking, they're not they're not the best example because they're not normal people with normal jobs and regular shit. John Travolta can have fucking seven kids because he got insane amount of money. It's not like those kids are going without, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like even, even Russell Wilson marrying Sierra, even though I disagree with it and the messaging that that sends Sierra wasn't a charity case. Sierra had millions of dollars. You see, it wasn't like she was coming there with nothing. And, and, and Russell Wilson really has to, you know, come out of his pocket to take care of, of 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 future's child so you know even though we don't like that scenario and what it says about the the nigga being a beta male or what it says about women thinking that having a baby by the nigga that they really want and then trying to get a simp ass nigga to come through and take care of them is inconsequential right it, i'm saying their scenario is uniquely different because they're multi-millionaires so what they do can't really be used as the model or the template in either direction. But because people know who they are, if I say Russell Wilson, Sierra, I, I don't have to walk through this whole, oh, well, who are you talking about? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have to paint a scenario. It's just like when you, when you grab pictures off of freaking Google and you're like, oh, this will be a great thumbnail. And you just grab the picture and you use it as a thumbnail. You know, I don't have to sit there and create some shit. It's easier. Let's me move forward with what I want to do and where I'm trying to get to. You know, but, um, you know, like I said, uh, uh, you know, at the end of the day, right, we know what time it is. You know what I mean? You, you, know, you know, every once in a while, I call it cleaning house. You got to recognize who the coons are. You got to recognize who the Uncle Toms are. You got to recognize, you know, who does not serve the collective interest of black people, you know, who's just in it for the bag, you know, who's who's disingenuous. You, you, you got to recognize every once in a while. That's it's, it's 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 great when things, you know, happen like this. People look like it's a bad thing. You know, obviously, you know, the, the themis and and thoughts, gay killmonger and Cynthia G, you know, they're going to be like, NC and these black men, you know, they're going to make it about that. No, 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 no. This is the clean house period of time you know what i mean if you don't if you if, once you recognize oh it's like oh this is what you're on okay unsubscribe it's just that simple you know you don't have to sit there and argue with a person you know what i mean you know just like we talk about you know you you vote with your wallet right that's how you vote oh you got a rate you got a business and you want to be racist and you don't want to serve black people oh, okay well, i won't be coming here you, you know, like whatever the hell it is, right? Oh, you racist? Oh, we not boycott, right? And the subscribe button and the like button are the same thing. Don't go over there liking their shit, clicking on their shit. Unsubscribe. And then you don't have to deal with that problem. And then next time some bullshit comes up, you know, I'm not subscribed to them. I don't follow them. I don't even care. We we don't we we already been we've all we've already called this out. So the next time some fuckery happens, it ain't no surprises. Ain't, that, that's what the fuck they're on. Are you surprised when you go over to Candace Owens' page? Are you surprised what you're going to hear when you listen to Brandon Tatum? Are you surprised when you hear AK Nation? Like, you already you already know when you go over to AK Nation, it's going to be a Ray Ray and Pookie argument. It's niggas' fault, right? You already know that's what you're going to hear. You already know it's going to be spun on how dysfunctional black people are. You already know that. It's not going to be some, now, wait a minute, this is, a, let me defend some black people. There's no balance over there. 
And the grifter channels never have balance because it's about the grift. That's what it's about. It's about the grift. It's not about being fair and balanced and, and, and having integrity and saying, now, wait a minute now. I can't, no, I can't, you know, I can't co-sign this because when there is something that comes up that, 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 you know, let's say is in black people's favor, they'll just ignore it because all they want to do is talk about what's not in black people's favor. You see, that's their whole channel. That's how they generate all these, you know, white audiences. Anytime you see a black person with a majority white audience, you already know what time it is. And they always got the same fucking comments. Candace Owens for president. Brandon Tatum for president. You know, all the black people, they could learn from you. You know, like, it's always the same fucking comments. You know, like, 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 uh, more black, we need to have more black people like you. Yeah, because what they're espousing is in your best interest. Of course you're going to co-sign it as a white racist, as a white bigot. Of course you're going to co-sign it. And why do they have such a, a large following? Because white people have collective white guilt and they need a black face to absolve them of that guilt. That's why you get people like, you know, Antoine Daniels. They need black people to say that, 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 no, see, the problem is, is black people is anti-white racism. That's what it is. It's reverse racism. You know what I mean? You didn't do anything, Rebecca. You you did nothing. It is it's it's these black people being the victim, having a victim mentality, always trying to blame white people for all their problems, right? I mean, just completely ignoring the context of U.S. history in this country, right? And and, and so and so because white people don't like to feel bad, that's why you know they 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 go to those people. I mean, there's enough white conservative voices talking that conservative shit, but they want to hear a black person say it because it eases their soul. It eases their soul. See, I'm not that black, that bad. You know what I mean? But notice how that black person doesn't translate to them having any particular different view of black people as a whole. It doesn't. They're just the special token that they'll throw money at. You know, because that's one thing that white people do, you know, that they do do when they when they when they support some shit, they will throw money at it and they will get behind it because they support what they want to hear. Black people, on the other hand, and I've talked about this for many years, a lot of y'all aren't willing to financially support the things that you want to hear, because the fact of the matter is, is when people put them put themselves out here to really put their name on the line. So y'all try to come with the, you know, you need to do this for black people just because, you know what I mean? But the, but there's one major problem with that because we still live and operate underneath the system of white supremacy. And once a black person goes out there and puts their neck out there for black people, right? That whole, you know, you should do this out of the goodness of your soul. That shit doesn't, that the shit doesn't pay the bills. See, white people, that they'll pay the bill, they'll pay your bills if you're gonna go up there and, you know, you know, say what you're gonna say to support, you know, the, uh, you know, th their beliefs. But black people, no. That's why Cynthia G was bitching when she was up there calling white people evil albinoids. Nobody, nobody was paying her bills. And this is, and this, and this is what facilitates the grift. You cannot, as black people, have white people throwing more money at a black person who's supposed to be your advocate than white people throwing money at that person. Because unfortunately, and this has happened so many times, too many times, they will flip sides on your ass because they got to eat. They got to live their life. They got to survive. You see? And, and, and we got a hint of this when Kevin Samuels went up there with Nicki Minaj because he saw Nicki Minaj as an opportunity. Nicki Minaj got connections. Nicki Minaj got money. Hell no, I'm not going to call her out on her ass backwards role reverse relationship with the Dusty who has a felony that she chose to be the father of her child. Hell no, I'm not going to do that shit. I'm going to tell Nikki that she's a nine and a half and, and, and how, you know, and, and play softball with her and put on the kitty gloves. That's what I'm going to do. Cause I'm in this for monetary gain. 
And like I said, that was the whole problem with YouTube getting monetized. I, I knew it was going to go to shit. All these conversations were going to go to shit. I've tried to maintain, you know, uh, uh, you know, integrity, uh, you know, in, in all of this, you know, in the face of, you know, other people I know who are funding their lifestyles with the shit. But a lot of them, they don't even have any other skills, you know, and I got to and I got to remember that. You know, what I mean, and like I don't I would I don't have to survive off of YouTube, but you got other people like they go out here. They're like, yeah, man, YouTube, I'm a YouTube, you know, uh, a voice. And they go out here and they buy that car and they buy that house. I remember when, you know, uh, uh, Phil Scott was bitching when they when when they did that whole ad apocalypse and he was crying up a store. Yeah, because you don't bought a whole bunch of shit, nigga. You know, what I mean, you're you, 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 like, again, these people can't support the lifestyles. That, that, that they're living without YouTube monetization. You tell me what other job mediocre tutorials and reviews could have done that would have paid off his house in three years. Paid off a, a what was it, a $300,000 home in three fucking years? That's a 30-year mortgage, and you paid it off in three years? That means he was dumping money into his property, which, hey, I don't knock. But at the same time, I think there's still a way to make money and not completely sell your soul to the devil. That's just me. You know, but again, if people are going to continue to support that, you know, just like, you know, men bitching about women and only fans and everything else like that. I'm like, what can you say? You keep support. You're bitching about what they, they have no integrity and neither do you with all your subs and clicks and likes and everything else and super chats and all that other shit. Neither do you. You know, it's like it's like somebody has to go out here and do something egregious before you snap out of it. You know, and I don't think any of these any of these coon tap dance and voices are going to disappear like they're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere because because, again, you know, the, the quiet is is kept. A lot of the people have just as little integrity as the people trying to monetize the content. It's the same thing we say about the black church. You know, how the black church doesn't speak to black men. The black church only speaks to black women, right? And number one, it's because, you know, uh, uh, you know, we're not there, you know, put money in the collection pit. Guarantee you, if there were more men in the church, the, 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 the sermons that you would hear would be more balanced. But they're not in the church. You know what I mean? But truth be told, for men, it's not even about them being in the church and actually supporting what's being said in the church, because at the end of the day, men have to produce and provide like they don't have, you know, again, <clears throat> men already know it's like, hey, the church used to be a place where there were economic opportunities. Many of the people that were in the community that had connections to opportunities went to church. You went to church to network. But once those economic opportunities dried up, What's the reason to go to church? Oh, because of love of God and Jesus. No, no, no. That's why you don't see men in the church right now. Because despite all the buttery goodness of the Lord that they throw up in the church, the church does not provide economic opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I got to find a better job. I can't sit up in here for fucking four hours. What am I sitting up here for four hours? For what? For what? To be sold a bunch of hope, comfort, and inspiration? No, I need gainful employment. The women can, they can do that. The women can sit in here and, and, and subscribe to some feel goodery, but us as men, no, we can't do that. We got to earn, we got to produce. You know, because the cause, cause the world for us doesn't give a fuck. They don't care about where you get your money. They just want to know, do you have it? You know, again, going back to, you know, even lack of integrity when it comes to women, bitching about all the violence in the black community, bitching about, you know, all, you know, uh, 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 the the killings and 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 the homicides, right? And black men selling drugs and going to jail, but yet every drug dealer has multiple bitches. Every drug dealer got the flyest chick in the neighborhood and whatnot. Why? Right? Because she doesn't care about where he gets his money. She just wants to know does she have it. When he's when he's giving breaking her off, you know he's the shit. When he gets locked up or killed, he ain't shit. Now she's a single mom bitching about niggas ain't shit and black men out here selling drugs. And, you know, she's, you know, in the comment section underneath Cynthia G's page. 
You know what I mean? Or if a black woman that's the girlfriend of a drug dealer gets, you know, they look, the ops is looking for him. They don't find him. She in the car. They, she driving around in his car. They thinking the nigga in the car, they spray that bitch down. And then she gets killed. The whole community of black women will be up there talking about, you know, black men kill us every five and a half hours, completely ignoring the fact that, like, chick, you out here dating a street nigga. You with King Vaughn. You know what it is. You know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I, I mean, what you think? The nigga got ops. What you think is going to happen? Right? But they won't own that. They'll just go right to, we're, we's victims. It's that type of shit. You know, but... You know, I'm just saying everybody needs to do their little soul searching, regroup, reevaluate and determine what they want to do. You know, the, the shit that you don't like, the shit that you don't agree with, don't support it. Vote with your subscribe button, vote with your like button. And anybody because I'm saying like nobody, nobody goes over there like we're not we don't support red ice. Right. We don't support Renaissance America. Right. You know, our American Renaissance, which is Jared Taylor shit. We don't support that shit. Nobody is accusing us of being over there and supporting white supremacy. We don't support Patriot Front. Nobody's accusing. Why? Because we're not over there. there. That shit is going to exist. People are going to grift. They're going to do what they do. They're going to say what they say that is, that, that is juxtaposed to you. If you're not there to support it, nobody can accuse you of shit. You know, I mean, there's nothing I love more than when black women go out here and some shit happens and they get jammed up. And I'm like, hey, we weren't there that day. Sorry. I'm like, we don't have nothing to do with like, like example, Taryn Guy, when black women literally put her on a pedestal, like literally had Taryn Guy sitting on a pedestal and surrounded by nothing but a bunch of brown, the dark skinned women. Black men didn't have anything to do with that. Nothing. Even though these will be the same women bitching about colorism. I'm like, you put the light skinned woman on a pedestal, not us. We had nothing to do with that. You know, see, so so there's a beauty in not being in the room when some shit goes down. Because unfortunately, when shit goes down, if they see, you know, some anything that looks like your face up there, they're going to be like, aha, you know, that's what they're going to do. And I'm like, don't be in the space. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about that. So anyway, that's all I got to say. That's my two cents. I got some other videos coming. I just I haven't uh, uh, gotten around to it. But uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. That's my video. SWP out. Don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe. I can do some shuffling too. Look out, man, what, what you gonna, gonna do? Look out, boys, it's coming through. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Boy, he got educated feet. Boy, I practice all the time. Here's one I sat up all night trying to do. Get this. When a boat dock is Memphis, you should get yourself a job in one of the Beale Street cafes. Boy, you've been reading my mind. Watch me go to Beale Street.